he stood on his feet really just enough to fall onto the trailer. He was that weak. I, I just really think that he had, you know, decided to give up. He was in a miserable situation. They weren't feeding him. He lost a lot of weight. And he just thought, I'm going to lay down, I'm going to die. And I think he really had just given up. And I was thinking, you know, how am I going to get this horse up? It takes a lot of effort to get the horse up that's already down. Miraculously, he got up. He had to walk about 30 feet onto the trailer, and he just collapsed on the trailer. It was awful because, you know how they call it splitted, like a dog splits their legs spread out and they're laying down? So when he fell, he fell like that. I, I didn't even know a horse could do that, physically do that. Luckily, the foster home was like, I mean, 15 minutes away. We got him there, and we had to drag him off to get him off the trailer. Just a minute, buddy. And he realized that he was going to go to a better place and that he could make it. Oh, Where he's laying down eating the hay. Sometimes if they're down for more than a day or two, that it's really hard to get them to recover from it. I went to check on him the next morning. I was just shocked to see him up because usually it's a long process to get them on their feet. Aren't you all right? He wasn't just standing, he was pawing the ground like, hurry up and feed me. Let's just go to some more. When they're that skinny, you have to be real, real careful about not giving them too much grain. That's the tar, he wants some more food. And I hated not being able to feed him more because I know he was so hungry. I can only give you a little bit at a time, buddy. Yeah, I was not expecting him to be that strong at all, considering his condition the night before. Once he had a little hope, he just had an amazing will to live. I've seen horses skinnier than he was, but I just think that they, he had gone so long without hay and water that he was very, very dehydrated. And they had to lift him to stand on his feet for like seven days. And then after that, he's been amazing. He was strong and had a strong will. You feeling pretty good? Okay, you can walk me. And, you know, he pulled himself <laughs> through it. There was no reason for him at that point, you know, not to make it. They brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty amazing. He's in his like teens, which really isn't that old for a horse. He has a lot of good years ahead of him. The most rewarding is to take a horse like Dasher and to see them come from literally near death to becoming the strong and beautiful, amazing animal they were supposed to be.